Okay, I'm just gonna jump right into it. Step one, after I've colored everything and merged it all onto one layer, I make a multiply layer and clip it onto that colored layer. So this multiply layer, you can literally just make it any color you want. Uh, what I usually do is pick a color that's either complementary to the most dominant color, or I just pick a color that kind of aligns with the colors of the palette already. So in this case, I did the latter, I made it purple, and then I increased the brightness and decreased the saturation because when you increase the brightness of something, if you also increase the saturation or keep it fixed, it kind of looks unnatural, it looks a little bit neon-ish. The second step was making the rim light. For the rim light, I use an ad layer because I don't like dodge, and I chose cyan because cyan is literally like one of the, it's the most fail-safe color to choose as a rim light. It's literally impossible to mess up, so cyan worked here as well because this is a cool color scheme, so yeah. And I use an airbrush for it to give it a more soft effect. And you really need to pick a direction for the light source. So in this case, I chose from the right. For step three, this is another good part. This is a texture layer. So I usually like to use the decimals brush in Procreate. It's just like the little dots. It kind of looks like a manga screen tone, sort of. Typically when you're adding textures to your colors, you should use an overlay layer, but again, you can use whatever layer mode you want. I feel like overlay is the best layer for both preserving the colors and also not really clashing too much with the layer underneath it. Step four is the glowing light add layer thing this is basically just kind of like imagine a person standing in front of a doorway and there's like really bright light shining from behind them if you look closely like the edges of them are kind of blurred kind of like the light is seeping onto the edges and it looks kind of blurry ish so that's what this layer is just take the airbrush and go to the edges and use white or really light color on an add layer and just swoop over the like edges of it another like good tip is to also go in between so here i went in between her neck and her hair and also in between her hip and her arm right there so yeah step four is chromatic aberration i believe chromatic aberration is just when the lens a lens fails to like focus all of the colors to a single point and that's why you're kind of seeing like little flecks of cyan magenta and yellow like kind of seeping through it's kind of like a glitch effect sort of and i really like it so i do a very subtle chromatic aberration on the original color layer not on any of your effects layers For step six, which is the final step, I add these floating flex thingies. Uh, I was planning to do it manually, but uh, I discovered a brush in Procreate that can do it pretty fine as well. I, I said discovered like <laughs> it's underneath elements. It's called Driven Snow. I increased the spacing of it just so it seemed a little bit more natural. I'm not sure if that did much though, because I didn't really see the spacing increase. <laughs> you just put down an add layer on top of everything again and you go ham with it also this is just really intuitive i can't tell you exactly what i do if you want to see exactly what i do just turn down the speed and look at it very closely but yeah i forgot to mention one thing i did do here that i didn't say is that i changed the color of the liner anyways i hope this is really helpful uh thank you for watching <laughs> this is a really welcomed break from editing the video i'm currently working on because it's giving me a headache so hopefully you like this and if you do uh, you should probably consider subscribing because subscribing is free and I don't know like a hundred percent of my a hundred percent of the viewers who watch this aren't subscribed
definitely because I checked for that. Hi, Heron Post, and I'm just here to inform you that if you've made it this far, you should probably subscribe to me. What do you gain? Absolutely nothing, but you get to click a button. And who doesn't like clicking things? Click it, maybe. Okay, bye. Thank you.